them and for Mexico, in fact, at this FIBA Basketball World Cup in Manila. And the referees for today's game as well, as well as the Mexican doctor. There we have Takaki Kato, Daniel Garcia, and Peter Prox from Japan, Venezuela, and Hungary. And also the great thing about New Zealand games, we get to listen to the haka and watch it in full speed. So I'll turn it over to the Tall Blacks. Never gets old watching the Haka, and I think the Mexican team enjoyed watching that as well. And that will uh, get them ready for this game. So Gail Bonilla, I wonder if he's gonna have a prominent role today for Mexico. You wonder if there might be a change in the starting lineup, or is coach Omar Quintana gonna, gonna, gonna stay with the same? Let's have a look. So he's going to keep Fabian Jaimes, Paul Stoll, Paco Cruz, Gabriel Giron, and Josh, Joshua Ibarra with Bonilla, Gutierrez. Both Gutierrez is coming off the bench along with Andreasse, Mendes, and everybody else. No Daniel Migo. He's injured, unfortunately. It's been a big blow for Mexico not having him. And Paco Cruz, obviously one of the leaders of this team. Yeah, all three games, he's been a spark plug for their offense. He's been a go-to guy. He's been a guy that they could count on to get a shot or get a bucket when they needed one, really impressed with his his game and his consistency. And before we say Joshua Barra, it's Omar Quintero. I think I said Quintana, but anyway, go ahead. Yeah, Omar Quintero is really working hard with these guys. Joshua Barra, uh, you know, uh, he really had a good game last one. Uh, nice response from him after the challenge they had against Lithuania. Again, the, the challenge against Valentunas was tough, but he came out and made it a, a, a great performance last game. Just the team came up a little bit short. And Omar Quintero, the coach, hasn't worked out the way that he had hoped, losing all three games, but there's time to rescue their campaign if they can get a ticket to the FIBA Olympic qualifying tournament. Yeah, we've seen them work for several years, and it's got to be tough to come to this point and have these results. But, you know, again, short memory, take advantage of your opportunities. They got a great one here today against New Zealand. And the Tall Blacks will start with Ruben Tarangi, Isaiah Leafa, Fendelani, Shea Illy, and Yanni Wetzel with Taylor Britt, uh, Flint Cameron, Toy Smith Milner, Jordan Nartai, all coming off the bench, as well as Hiram Harris, Walter Brown, and Isaac Fotu. And Jeff Fendelani, fantastic effort last night. What impressed me the most was just his ability to score and rebound. Uh, just a natural instinct for the ball, super competitive. You know, he was beat up in the game. Really great effort. They'll need another great effort from him today. And Shea Illy's just been amazing, really. Yeah, he's he's handled the pressure last night. Let's see what he's got left in the tank today because he played with so much responsibility against that Greek ball pressure and physicality. But the advantage for New Zealand coming into this game is with their ball handlers. Perro Cameron has several guys he can put the ball in their hands to create an attack. And for Mexico, that's been the challenge. They've struggled to guard the ball one-on-one. -on -one. So while there's, you know, fatigue is a factor for New Zealand, they do have some advantages coming into this game against Mexico. And bearing in mind that one of the strengths is that backcourt for New Zealand. Are you surprised that they weren't able to cope with the pressure that Greece threw at them last night in the second half? Yeah, you know, again, Jeff, the main point for me was the short bench. They needed a little bit more depth to, to kind of give their key players a rest. Just overall, yeah. Definitely. Overall, and this is what concerns me in the game today. You know, the, the game last night finished, you know, 10.30. I you couldn't know, believe it when I found time. out they had to play it and first game. You know, first game, uh, there's, Mexico first of all. had a day off. Yeah, and first of all, there's no game prep time. You know, yeah. you have time for a short meeting. You have time for some video, but the, you know, I'm sure Perro is really focused on their own performance out here today. 
trying to get their team to rally uh, with the, the schedule challenge. As we look at that New Zealand bench, I can't help but remember that absolutely one of my favorite moments of this FIBA Basketball World Cup was seeing Mike Taylor walk over before tonight's game and say hello to Tab Baldwin. And Jeff, as we found out, Tab Baldwin is not in the gym. And that's at least an entertaining story <laughs> for the New Zealand staff. So as, like the those guys. as the conversation ensued, as Mike was telling Tab how he knew friends and how he'd heard so many great things about him, it was then told to him, I'm not Tab Baldwin. <laughs> It, it almost was as if they were they've seen they've been in that situation before and they played along with it. However, See, hey, however, in little. fairness to Mike, uh, there was a bear, a semblance. <laughs> it was Nanad Vujinic, Vujinic who had played for Tab and obviously was his right hand man and shaves his head as well and it was understandable. And I think those guys really, you know, they enjoyed the moment. So, uh, yeah, fantastic. You know, a little entertainment for everybody, and uh, yeah, a little embarrassing moment for me. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. Here in the Mall of Asia, we're underway. Mexico and New Zealand in Group N. And Mexico trying to put in a performance today, and Fabian Jaimes gets in and scores the first bucket, and that's already an improvement on what we've been seeing. Yeah, Jaimes attacked the closeout, got right to the rim. Not much physical resistance there on the first possession. Layoff and missing from deep. Tarangi, three-pointer is good. I, I asked Mike before the game of the New Zealand players, I hope you don't mind me sharing this. Which two would you have in, would, would you like to have in your team? And he answered Ruben Tarangi and Finn Delaney for yeah. interesting reasons. Well, I like the size and physicality from both. I think Ruben Tarangi, as his size, can guard multiple positions, can create off the dribble and hit shots. I love his leadership and toughness. And then with Finn Delaney, I think he's a natural rebounder and his versatility between on the wing. Uh, and his toughness. So I like a lot of the players. Again, Illy has been fantastic. Wetzel is a good mobile big man. They do so many good things. Uh, but I really particularly like Tarangi and Delaney. Well, here's one of them right here. Finn Delaney. Again, easy, backs him in, spins to the left hand, skillful. Joshua Ibarra turns. Jaimes knocks it out of bounds. I will say this about Jaimes. If, if people have questioned the effort of Mexico at either end of the floor, they can't question his effort. No, he's, he's, he has worked hard. He's really active, and you see him cutting and rebounding. He's working. He's a key. He's their most mobile foreman. Ibarra gets it back and just missed the shot. And now the ball goes out of bounds off Leafa. So you see the physicality and size is a handle for, is, is tough to, for Wetzel to handle inside. Ibarra really active in the early going. He's just got to concentrate and finish his plays because the opportunities will be there. And this is already a dangerous time for Mexico. They're trailing five to two. Here's Paco Cruz. Good rebound, and we're seeing an assertive Ibarra today. Yeah, he has the size and physical advantage down there. Done a great job rebounding thus far. And they're a nice finish in the lane. And Delaney loses it. Geron, you can count it! And Mexico go up seven to five. Five unanswered points. And Jeff, Paul stole really good decision and transition to set up your own. Nice start for Mexico. Yeah. 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 
to watch out if they keep catching the ball. When they make something, they just catch it and then give it to the rest. I think hey, they'll be man. It's like three or four already. Hey, too many head boys. Hey, we're going to watch out. Hey, rebound. Hey, rebound. Hey, rebound. Hey, rebound. Four. It's easy, easy scout. Not on the right, don't let him go on the right hand. Box out, box the big dog. Don't worry about the rebound, stay with the box out. All right, did a good job getting him off the block. Don't go for the steal. Hey, he did a good area, job. Come on, go, go. You see Stoll deliver the pass in transition. Great decision, he drew. Ely to him, made the extra pass to Jerome for three, and that's an important bucket for Jerome to get off to a good start. He's really been a hot shooter for Mexico at times. But Jeff, New Zealand has to take care of the basketball in the early going. Chayeli, and Jaime's got his hands up, now quickly in transition. Jerome drives in and scores. And this is a good development for Mexico here. Seven straight points. Bounce pass to Wetzel. Ball knocked away. If I were to bounce pass to Jaimes. And that's outstanding teamwork from Mexico. They established a post. Nice pass to Ibarra, who didn't settle and found Jaime's right at the rim. Wetzel. Open jumper. Ooh. And that's a charge on Stoll. Nartai in the game, and Isaac Fotu. Important, you know, they get the bench involved early here. Nartai short, Fotu with the rebound. Fotu lays it up, and then, nope, and... He's fouled, so was Heron in the semicircle? Well, when you're the low man, you want to engage that diver early. Oh, he was out. And he looked to establish position there. Wow, that, I close mean, call. it's a close call. It looked like he took a lot of that charge square. And Jerome's doing what you're coached to do. Engage the diver early, challenge the big man. This is interesting. They want to challenge it. Or they want to review it. Okay, so they're not going to challenge it. I can see by the look on Matsoni's face, who's the referee behind the video, the IRS review. Omar Quintero having conversation with the video. Uh, I think I think now he's asking, can you just at least look at it and tell me if it was a good call? Sure. But I don't think he would I don't think he could tell him that during the game, could he? Anyway, maybe they're just talking about something else. Eleven to nine. A nice little bounce pass to Paco Cruz. And again, posting Jerome has been positive with post reaction on those two possessions. Nice bounce pass. And for two. Surprised they didn't go for the uh, backboard. Tough angle on the baseline, but you see it's just not coming easy for New Zealand with the short turnaround from last night. Ibarra. Delaney. And New Zealand pulled to within one. Good transition, ball ahead three. I mean, Ibarra should have that soft touch to be able to score those shots, but 
I think if he just goes strong to the basket more often, he would get more joy. More result, for sure. Higher he might percentage. might get fouled, go to the basket, yep. might, the line. Without a doubt. Charge on Shea Illy. And again, give credit to Jerome here, giving up his body. Yeah, called, for the second time. Called for a block on the first one. And that one was clear, Jeff. Very good call. He took the contact square outside of the circle. Doing a very good job defensively as a low man, Jerome. Flint Cameron checks in. Remember, the New Zealanders did not have the Webster brothers available for this. That was a significant blow. Ty Webster and Corey Webster, who's one of the all-time great scores in New Zealand history. Ibarra scores down low. Obviously, they don't have Kirk Penny anymore. Fourth all-time leading scorer in World Cup history. Here's a turnover. Jaime spins, turns. Really good job identifying the mismatch from Mexico. Jaime working against Layafa and efficient finish inside. Flynn Cameron. Layafa. Naktai not able to save it. Hey Jeff, how about Naktai hustling after the ball? Just coming up a little short. Look at this. There he is, jumping over the rail cam track. I wonder if they could put a little trolley on that and then we could have trolley rides before the game. It looks like a lot of fun. Peron, <laughs> uh, oh, loses it as he gets in. Just kind of slipped out of his hands. Boy, Smith Milner trying to feed the bounce pass to Isaac, number four, two. Seven turnovers here in the early going. And that's symptomatic of having played less than 15 hours ago? 100%. They just have to have a little more attention to detail, strength, and sureness with the ball. Heron for three. Outstanding ball movement from Mexico there. Heron. Great start to the game here for the captain. Noctai missing. Now, much like Mexico need to be careful early on, New Zealand need to be careful that they don't fall too far behind. Because Mexico is suddenly getting a little bit of swag. Look at that! Over the shoulder pass. And Jaime's really active playmaking here, getting an easy bucket. Smith Milner from the corner, good. Well, last year's captain hits a big shot. Stoll answers with a three. The That's veteran. One thing you can't do is question his jumper. Oh, look at Flynn Cameron, got it in. Will it be two in a row for Smith Milner? No, it will not. Cruz drives in and is fouled. Cruz has been impressive attacking the basket all four games. Cruz probably the most important player in this team overall, I would think, for his scoring. But Jaime is a real worker. And it's hard to replace size that Ibarra offers. 
So we'll see how the second unit does for Mexico. Obviously, Jorge Gutierrez is a player that could start. Maybe Gael Bonilla would be one of the revelations of the World Cup. He's in the game. Ooh. Nartai for three. New Zealand definitely get their threes up. Bonilla right on cue and the block from Hiram Harris. Who didn't get in the game last night, so he should be fresh. Yet is getting out and guarding uh, Shea Illy. So Paco Cruz goes out, is replaced by Orlando Mendez in his last FIBA Basketball World Cup. Hey, and Jim. Yep. Yanni Wetzel as well is back. New Zealand going deeper into the bench in this game. Walter Brown. They know they need to keep their veteran and key guys fresh. This is a great opportunity for these players to make a contribution. Tarangi fouled while attempting a three by Jaimes. So, Jeff, Mexico has an 11-point lead. They've forced several turnovers. They have a rhythm. And now you're helping New Zealand chip into that deficit with three free throws. Just not what you're looking for defensively from Mexico right there. Probably the foul issues, some of the uh, pla have, have plagued Jaimes throughout, if you remember in the opening game for Mexico against Montenegro. Yeah, he fouled out of that game, and that was important because that was a difference maker against their front court. You love his activity, but you have to have that defensive discipline to defend without fouling, especially not bailing out a three-point jump shooter. Here's Israel Gutierrez. Gael Bonilla drives in. And a gifted young player. Attacked the closeout well, finished under control. Shea Illy for three. Tall Blacks back to within eight here in the final minute of the first quarter. Orlando Mendez can shoot it if he can get rid of it, get a screen. If he runs off, oh, Tarangi almost getting a steal. Here's Gael Bonilla again. Gutierrez puts it up, and his attempt rattles out. Shaili tripped up by Gutierrez. Have a look. Well, he just kind of left his leg out. He was already established, but the trip was called. Young, tall Blacks fans. Tarangi, and he does have that element of toughness to his game that can elevate New Zealand's play. There's no doubt about it. Turn the corner, great to the rim. Seeing it on both ends of the floor. Mendez strikes right at the end of the quarter. The veteran, known as a shooter, hits a big shot to close out the first quarter for Mexico, Orlando Mendez. One quarter in the books. Mex Jiffy Lube, it's our job to keep you moving. With a full range of services from oil changes and tire rotation.
And uh, last but not least, the wonderful crew at McDonald's. Hello, welcome. At Jiffy Lube, it's our job to keep you moving. With a full range of services from oil changes and tire rotation. Hello, welcome to McDonald's. May I take your order, please? Order pe- Whatever's next. Putting you in the driver's seat of car care. That's a job for Jiffy. Hello, welcome to McDonald's. May I take your order, please? Go to more well, can I this car? I haven't had a Big Mac in a long time. What eighty? What eighty? Hello, Patrick Mahomes. Wait, who do you even play for? T-Mobile. And I'm here to protect you from wireless companies that blitz you with phone deals that sack you with a three-year device contract. Even I can get sacked? Not at T-Mobile. They have plans that make upgrades work for you. They even have a plan which makes you upgrade ready every year. Thanks, man. Now can I do the thing? Do the thing. Excellent. Take charge of your upgrades with our best Go 5G plans at T-Mobile. Let's have a huddle. You don't know what huddle is, do you? No. Barkley for the Ruffles. Charles, it's barbecue time. Nah, Chuck's always been a little twisted. Everybody knows you love cheese, old man. So here's six. Oh! <laughs> no! <laughs> Ruffles, choose the flavor that speaks to you. And here's the last play. Gutierrez, penetrate, pitch. Orlando Mendez, to the delight of the Mexican fans. Scanning the barcode on the screen to get Courtside 1891 in your smartphone. We're now heading into the second round of the FIBA Basketball World Cup, and that's where you can watch all the games. Video stream, schedule, scores, and more. Download it on the Apple Store. Get it on Google Play. So New Zealand in a real battle here with Mexico. Bonilla. Guarding Wetzel. And good day in the end. Wetzel forcing up a shot. And Jeff, this is the best we've seen the Mexican defense all tournament. Orlando Mendez. Chance to run for Hiram Harris. Nope, he's going to hold. Nope, maybe he's going to go. Tarangi. Wow. Good strong finish from George, from Ruben Tarangi. Nine points in the early going. Bonilla catch or rather to Gutierrez, passes to Gutierrez. Here's Hiram Harris. Oh, look at him. He's just got the moves so smooth. Nobody's stopping him. You know, this has been the point for Mexico, struggling to guard the ball one-on-one as They've shown good defense throughout the game, but right there, Tarangi got right to the rim. Hey, vamos una cero. No, no, no hemos hecho cero hoy. Hey, we got to talk to the guards, okay? Let them know if they're square, okay? Let them know. What is it, back feet? Ruben Tarangi averaging 13.7. 11 points today. He's going to sit down for a break. You can see he's perfect uh, inside the arc, whereas uh, he shot at 33% in the tournament. Let's see if New Zealand can keep the edge with Tarangi out. They've brought 
We've got uh, Delaney in now. Here's Mendez. Good D from Illy. Bonilla gets it deep, almost, and then looks like a headbutt. Since great. Gail Bonilla down. Yeah, great effort to finish. He left it short and then tried to get back into play. Again, Delaney is an excellent rebounder. He grabbed the ball, Bonilla went after it, and I think they did. Clash heads. Yeah. I think a headbutt is a great way to describe it, Jeff. Like a couple of rams on a mountain rock. Ooh. There's Daniel Amigo. They don't have him available because of his uh, knee problems. I think he aggravated an injury or just wasn't wasn't able to go. So Gail Bonilla turns, picks it up, and another turnover for New Zealand. Now Shay Illy, open floor, bounce past Nartai. So again, Bonilla's had a couple opportunities to finish plays. And look at the hustle from Leafa to Yanni Wetzel. Delaney to Wetzel, goes right up and maybe forced that. New Zealand fortunate to get it back. Israel Gutierrez with the bump. So really costly lack of concentration on the inbound play. The turnover happens and it just gives New Zealand new life. So three point deficit here. New Zealand can tie it with a three. Stole Ibarra in the game. Hiron back in. The pass to Delaney. Three. Nope. Nice touch pass over to Stoll. Back to Paco Cruz. Count it! Another missile from Paco. A good unselfish play from Paul Stoll. Setting his teammate up with a rhythm three in the corner. Oh. And quickly, they feed it to Wetzel. But if you're New Zealand, you're liking the rhythm that your offense has picked up in the last few possessions. Leafa. On the ground, gets back up, but Cruz is just not going to miss anything from, what, three meters in? <laughs> He's just automatic. He's a finisher. Like Laurie Markkinen. <laughs> Here's Leafa. Oh, well, that basket has had a lid on, on it since uh, he shot the lights out against Jordan two games ago. Paco Cruz, missile, another. And the lead goes back to nine. So Big. New Zealand, almost, they could have tied it with a three, but they missed it. And now Mexico have raced back into a big lead. Delaney, where he missed his last three, misses another. Good ball movement. They've had great corner three opportunities the last few possessions, just unable to knock them down. Cruz is feeling it, he gets it to Ibarra. That's more like it from Big Joshua. And Jeff, you can see Mexico really looking to find the matchup and get the ball to Paco Cruz. A couple buckets, but here a beautiful pass to Ibarra for the big dunk. Really good energy and execution out of Mexico this afternoon. Hard, hard one to switch for the guard, Jason. Number nine is their main guy. I'll say it again. Number nine is their main guy. Show the energy on him. 
rest take care of itself. We've got to communicate on that switch or no switch. Forcing him not to get fucking layups or wide open shots. Nick's his nose, man. It's fucking pride. Yeah, it's a fucking pride, man. Yeah, Blow forward down the scene. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Well, Paco Cruz definitely has captured the attention of New Zealand, although I'm sure they knew that coming in. And this is why Pero wanted to reiterate it to his team. Number nine is their main guy. Plus. He wants energy defensively on Paco. Paco's been consistent all tournament long he's been a guy who mexico can count on and he's really delivered again today in this important game for mexico well you know why he spells his name paco p-a-k-o because he likes to deliver the ko he's going for the ko i love it jeff and finn delaney i don't know if that's true but i'm gonna tell him Is because that why? you said it and i now, believe it and I now believe he's gonna go around saying yeah that's why i i'd go with the k instead of the c I believe it. Jaimes gets it back to Ibarra, unselfish. Look at Jaimes battling away. The 12 Warriors are out there scrapping. And, Finn and uh, Flynn Cameron whistled for a foul. Entry pass, oh boy, what a mistake. And what an outstanding pass from Paul Stoll. He's done a fantastic job in this tournament, setting his teammates up with great passing. What's the bar frustrated with here? Officials discussing if it was a shot or pass, correctly ruling a pass. End line inbound. And over and back. But Cameron has it knocked out of his hands by Paul Stoll. And that's experience against youth right there. Without a doubt. But it's also a great sign for Mexico because they've struggled to contain the basketball in other games. And the veteran Paul Stoll responds to the challenge and says, hey, I'm going to get after it here, forcing a turnover. So that's great from the Mexico veteran. Heron. See if uh, Cameron can get it going. Oh, two. That's better. You know, that's a difficult play to take the pocket pass in a short roll. No, there's traffic with defenders coming around you to help. Stole from downtown. He just doesn't miss those open shots. He wants to push the pace there. Ibarra called with a bump for a bump. So for Ibarra, he's just got to get there on time. You see he's a little bit late. You really want that show to be at the angle of the screen. Shoulder to shoulder, he's late, and that time picks up the foul. Tarangi. Quickly the other way, Jaron, Paco, Cruz hands it off to Jaimes. Didn't catch it cleanly. Cruz again. Jaron pulls his way down. Jaimes gets it, puts it up and in. Much more determined play by Mexico. 
Great rebound and finish, but they're really focused in this first half. Biggest lead of the game, 14 points for Mexico. And the ball goes off Fotu's hands and out of bounds. And uh, Mexico with a real opportunity here late in the first half to create even more separation. Yeah, this is critical time for New Zealand. Perro Cameron and team need to trim this deficit going into the second half so they don't have as big a hill to climb up. Oh, Fotu. Steps in front of Cruz, or in, in front of um, Stoll. So that's a good veteran play. Stoll read the hard show coverage, and he knows when he's got two defenders on him to move the ball quickly. And as he moved the ball quickly, he was fouled by Fotu in the hard show. Wetzel going for the rebound, wrapping up Gutierrez. Good call, got his hands all over him. And offensive foul. So that foul on Heron. Nine fouls have been committed by Mexico. Heron goes out. He's the only one. No, he and Nevada each with two fouls. Now he's going to stay in. So it's going to be Gutierrez who goes out. Ruben Tarangi. Oh, he banked it in. Nothing like a late first half deposit. Quick pass. And Shea Illy fouls Jaimes. So that is the second foul on Shea Illy. And Gutierrez comes back into the game for Camacho. Hiron also out. Gail Bonilla back in. Jeff Jaimes in this first half, 12 points, six rebounds, four assists. Really impressive first half performance. Pass it around. Ruben Tarangi, and we're seeing why you like him, Mike. I mean, he's showing great leadership right now. Look at the hustle down the floor by Stoll, though. Cruz has it knocked out of his hands by Shea Illy. Can we go back to that last possession? That's my favorite possession of this entire tournament. All five players touch the ball. We'll see it at some time, but not now. Oh, not now. We're off to bigger and better things. <laughs> We're off to a timeout. We're off to the bench. We'll be right back. Okay. 
En esta jugamos especial, ¿ok? Vamos a ver el, el, el corte de, de Fabián, ¿ok? Lo sacas bien, Paco, ahí, igual que ahorita. Si no, seguimos jugando, tenemos 17. Si no, Flappy. Finish the half, one on Paco. 5 4. So this is one of the threes hit by Tarangi. That's the drive. And on his last one, he hit a three after, as you said, five, five uh, passes. Every player getting a touch, 17 points, three of three from deep. A real competitor. Yeah, again, these guys, they're physically challenged, and that is a mental challenge for New Zealand. Stoll, such a good shooter, he almost made that. Here he is again, Bonilla, oh, he banks it in. And now we're even. Back to a 12-point advantage. Tarangi goes up, and Mexico the other way. I think he forced that one. Stoll steps back, goes down, and a foul in the paint. On oh, Ruben Terengi. Mexican fans here, hoping for the best. Trying to get their first win at the FIBA Basketball World Cup. And more importantly, stay in the hunt for a spot in the Olympic qualifiers. So the lead goes back to 14, big possession for New Zealand. And the foul from behind. Foul on Gutierrez. So he's going to come out being replaced by Orlando Mendez. So yeah, he goes back out as well with Paco Cruz since they're going to have five and a half seconds left potentially or maybe if they can get the ball back anyway. Yes, good subs from Omar Quintero. He's got shooting all over the floor now. So five seconds, they want to push the ball with spacing and see if they can get a last second shot to go down. It's going to be a tough, a tough second half for New Zealand. You can already feel it. They're definitely not turning on all cylinders right now. Are they counting that? Yes, they did. So now New Zealand will try to guard, not allow, not give up a big shot here at the end. They get it to Cruz. He kind of fumbles it, gets it back, puts up a three. Good. Well, there you have it. The icing on the cake of Mexico's best first half. The late insertion of Paco Cruz. He didn't panic when kind of lost his handle. He waits for Delaney to go past, and then he's such a good shooter that he's able to knock it down. Everybody knew that he was going to get the ball. And Jeff, as the teams go to their locker rooms, a key number are... Basketball is a 40-minute game. I don't need to remind anybody of that, least of all the players. Mexico know they got 20 hard minutes ahead of them, you would think. And 
without a doubt, it's going to be 20 hard minutes for New Zealand as they play catch up. So Mall of Asia, and we're going to see Egypt later tonight going up against Jordan. That'll be an entertaining clash. But for now, it's all about New Zealand and Mexico. Second half action is underway here in the Mall of Asia. And an unsportsmanlike foul on Paul Stoll after Shea Illy stole it. And Paul Stoll didn't make a play on the ball. He just kind of pushed, pushed Illy. Watch. He holds him, he holds him up. And that is an unsportsmanlike foul as plain as day. Well, this is exactly what you want an energy play from New Zealand, and it's exactly not how you want to start the half when you're Mexico. So two free throws and possession. But it is, Mike, just to reconfirm, that is an unsportsmanlike foul. Yeah, it's it's not a play on the ball. It's holding the player from trying to get the steal. It's just a, a difficult situation. But these are the things that you never know when they're going to appear in a game. You never know when it's going to happen. You've got to be locked in and focused at all times. So the lead's down to 14. Ruben Tarangi. So New Zealand do not turn it into turn it into a five-point trip down the floor. Good rebound from Ibarra there. Oh boy, nice feed to Ibarra. Maybe that unsportsmanlike foul is going to do Mexico a favor and really kind of wake them up. And say we still got a battle. Ruben Tarangi from the right goes in and out. He had such a great first half. That's exactly what you want. Two good looks. Missed them both. And Illy whistled for the foul on Stoll. So now they switch. Paco Cruz guarded by Wetzel. And Paco Cruz just owns the court right now. He's got it going. 19 point lead. Illy drives in and oh, gets it to go. That Boy, was beautiful. Out. Under the rim at extension. Nice pressure release for the handoff and attack. Great job, New Zealand. Now the dump back down low to Ibarra. Cruz, a little floater. Now quickly up a chance for New Zealand. Three on three, they get it to Illy to the corner to Rangi. And he misses for the third time in this half. Leafa for three. He still can't get it to go. So a break for New Zealand. They're gonna keep possession. New Zealand's had several good looks from three here in the early possessions. Here is Delaney. Yep, they're just not making their shots. Uh, Tarangi foul stole. So, Jeff, New Zealand has opened this third quarter 0 for 5 from 3. Well, they just got to try to fight through it. But meanwhile, Mexico need to keep playing hard and getting uh, good looks here. Nice into Jaime, and there's the follow. Ibarra, but does not corral it. Ibarra with eight points, four rebounds. I mean, New Zealand have to hit threes. That's their game. 
Driving, passing it back out. Ooh. And the layup, looked like he was uh, about to fall down. Tarangi is changing speeds very well. There's a strong drive through contact and another good finish. But they missed five threes, and now they got another play at the rim. Cruz chases the ball down, brings it back up. Gets it to Ibarra. So Cruz knew he had to switch, drew the attention, and made a great delivery. Ibarra finish. Aaron. The miss from Wetzel. He's got to make that Leafa. Finally, his first three-pointer since his explosion against Jordan. Shoot or shoot. Keep shooting. The next one's good. Another foul for Tarangi. That's his third. So Nartai comes in, Hiram Harris, and you know, we felt like depth became an issue last night for New Zealand, and these guys coming off the bench need to deliver something. Yeah. Yeah, they need to give them some production. They need to give them some energy and defense. The Alpha all over. Here is Jaime, gets it to Ibarra. And he goes up, he scores, and he's fouled. And Jeff, Josh Ibarra loves the physical contact. You know, they talked about Jaime's going right. Again, he goes right. They defend him into a tough shot, but the former American football player, defensive end, Josh Ibarra, finishing strong at the rim, finishing through contact. You know, Ibarra is sparking his team right here in the third quarter. He's up to 12 points and five rebounds. That is a physical advantage for Mexico. And it looked like Wetzel had his right hand on his hip and might have gotten, might have been fortunate not to get an unsportsmanlike because he wasn't really playing the ball. So he's going out of the game. Here's Potu back in. Jaime reaches around, commits the foul. And much like we talk about the depth for New Zealand, you also talk about the depth for Mexico. That's only Jaime's second foul. They don't have any foul troubles. Nobody has more than two fouls for Mexico. And Jeff, did you see his mouthpiece popped out in the middle of that play? And that was a distraction. Potu won't go, and Ibarra with the rebound. Great strong rebound in traffic there from Josh Ibarra. Mexico still with a 16-point lead, exactly what they had at halftime. Giron for three. So, Jeff, in the first half, they posted Giron, and now they ran the same action but ran him off a staggered double screen on the backside for the three. Great job from Paul Stoll organizing the attack. Oh, nice handoff from Harrison. Fotu misses the layup. So Fotu has to settle for free throws. When you practice with your guys, do you get them to practice making layups through contact? Yeah, and that's what through individual development skills get out the football blocking pads, and that's fun for coaches and fun for players. Guy makes his dribble move, gets to the basket, and poof, give him that hit, finish through contact, just to help them understand to finish to the rim and go strong. Fotu makes both. I don't think you'd want to give those uh, football pads to uh, Ibarra. I'm, I'm sure his eyes would light up that part of practice. Oh my! Paco Cruz! A floater! A teardrop! 19 point game! Heard some slapping there. Well, New Zealand, less than 15 minutes to go now, still trailing by 17. The question is, can they get some steals finally? They do, and it's Jaime's third foul.
Look at that. That's over the backboard. Beautiful touch. High arcing rainbow. Taylor Britt in to the game for Illy now. I like it. Yeah. Because uh, he's a slasher, a dasher. Oh, Ooh. Leofa can't stand up. Well, he didn't stand up with the ball, did he? Here's Leofa. Nope, that's off. And they're going to stop play so they can get the moisture off the hardwood. Hiram Harris getting it to foot two. Well, right now, Mike, uh, they can't get stops. New Zealand. No, give credit to Mexico. They've got three-point shooting and playmaking from Paco Cruz. They can post your own. They can run him off screens. They've got Jaimez attacking the basket with drives, and they've got Josh Abar in the post. But it's all being directed by Paul Stoll. He's really making good decisions, leading the offense. Mexico is at their best in the tournament this afternoon. Go to guarding Ibarra a long way from the basket. Stoll. I think he probably thought that was in. It looked good from our seat. It did. Just a little short. Into foot two. Gets it back, puts it up. And hard to understand, Fotu just cannot get the ball to go in the hoop. Uh, you know, excellent game plan. Short roll, has opportunities to finish, gives great effort, and just unable to complete the play. The effort's there, encourage the effort, but just got to make that play, find a way to score. No look pass to Ibarra. Mexico with their 19-point lead. Harris, good work. Ibarra reaching in, getting the ball. Boy, they just, these two guys have just tormented New Zealand in the second half. So Shaley comes back in for Leafa. Gonna hold Israel Gutierrez. So that's not a good foul. Stops the clock. Yes, even at this stage now, that becomes important for New Zealand. Gives them a chance to rest a little bit. If only they can have Amigo. He's a very good player. But they have, uh, to be fair, done very well without him today. Yeah, he gave it an effort in the first game, and just you could see he was hobbled. The knee just is not ready. Good effort, Hiram Harris, to keep it alive. Hey, hey. There's a scrap for the ball. And look at that. Boy, bodies falling all over the place. So we look at the slow mo photos. Great job, as always, from the men behind the camera at this FIBA Basketball World Cup here in the Mall of Asia. And Fendelani has come back into the game for Isaac Fotu, who, as you said, played exceptionally hard, did everything but make shots. And now he has to sit down, frustrating. He does have eight points and five rebounds. You know, when you look at this New Zealand team, they've got a lot of perimeter skill. They have good undersized small lineups. They just don't have the size and depth to match up at the five and the four with these teams that can go big. And our tie, that's good. Well, they've got to have some other people step up and make some shots with 
Sarangi having cooled off a little bit in the second half, but now on the bench. Feels like the name of the game for New Zealand is to get some easy points, but here's Mendez missing. Stoll does a very good job of setting his team, his teammates up when they're holding spacing. He catches, peri he catches perimeter defenders, like creeping into the paint off of their oh. hand. Did you see that? Hi, Mason Delaney. Yeah, referees need to keep their eyes oh. on that. Hiram Harris decides to hand it off and watch Jaimes and uh, Delaney. I would not be surprised if they came to blow at some point. <laughs> came to blows <laughs> following that last exchange. Here's Delaney. That's all. Nope, it's in. It rimmed it in. So and that's back to a 13-point game. New Zealand has put five perimeter players out there. They pick and pop on Gutierrez with Delaney, and he buries the three. It's only a 13-point deficit, so this is a very good timeout from Coach Omar Quintero with Mexico. Hey, tranquilos. Hey, Josh, agarra irra. Hey, esta, vamos USA. Okay? Nos, nos quiere jugar small ball, vamos a atacar con él. Lo saque, lo saque Sor Orlando. Y pon aquí y tú sales aquí. Eh, Fabián, y tú caes por aquí, ¿ok? Gabriel abierto acá. Sale. Hey, rebound. Y acá rebound. tenemos que estar listos. Vamos, cabrones. Defense, vamos. Dale. You can see that Jaime uh, has played more minutes uh, than any of the starters. And uh, in many respects, the game has been about Paco Cruz's ability to score and to set up his teammates. 19 points, four assists. He's on the bench. Four or five from deep. But now is when you would think they have to make progress, but they do have veterans out on the court without him, so. Adjustment from Mexico out of the timeout. Josh Ibarra back in the game. So if you're gonna pick and pop with a small lineup at one, you gotta defend the post at the other. Oh, good hand, Shea Illy. Can he chase it down? Yes, he does. Unbelievable. I and mean, how can that. you not love the way Shea Illy gets after it? Oh. And has the concentration to hit the shot. Remember last night against Greece when he hit that three over uh, Papa Giannis late? A and shot they had to have. Jeff, it's a 10 point game. Okay, here's Ibarra. See if Stoll can let one fly here from Mexico. Geron down to Ibarra. Back outside over to Mendez. Shot clock winding down. Mendez puts it up and misses. And Hiram Harris. First to the basketball, gets it to Shea Illy, and he's fouled by Orlando Mendez. And here's the run for New Zealand. They were down 19. Look at this. Great hustle. I thought Hiram Harris could have maybe taken it all the way there. He's a team player. He's got trust in Illy. But once again, it's Illy with the deflection. Yeah, he's Look everywhere. Illy is everywhere. Wonder what kind of coffee he drinks. Illy? Il Illy? <laughs> Outstanding. Oh boy. Well, Gabriel Giron now out of the game. And Paco Cruz quickly back in. Now why is Giron sitting there and not back on the bench? Is he going to go right back in quickly, you think? It's possible he's trying to give a message to his coaches, I'm ready, I want to play. He's talking with some of the assistants, getting a drink. You know. He expects to go back in for Orlando Mendez, I guess. It's possible, but, you know, give credit to New Zealand. They know they've got a small lineup out. Defending the low post, they're putting the second defender in the, at the lane, and they're really active. They've won two possessions in a row.
Ibarra. Ibez with the tap. So the small lineup has the disadvantage with a post up, but also the offensive rebound. So great job from Jaimez right there. Well, just he, he, look at his numbers, and that'll tell you how hard he's been playing. And contact puts Shea Illy on the free throw line. And now a technical foul has been called on Jaimez. And that is a disaster. And Jeff, I don't know what he said, but why? Well, he said it right in front of the Venezuelan referee, so he's going to understand it. Or maybe it's the reaction. I don't know. So two free throws, or a technical free throw, then two free throws. And he's got four fouls. And we were just talking about how crucial he's been today. 15 points, nine rebounds, five assists. And your team needs you. And it's, it goes back to what Coach Taylor always says. Not me, the other Coach Taylor. <laughs> Emotional discipline. Critical, especially on a stage like this. You know, you can be, you can disagree with a call but you have to understand the limit and you have to communicate it in the right way. Like Josh Abar didn't like the call, but you know what? He just kind of shook his head and was ready for the next play. You know, now Jaimez has hurt his team and complicated his good game. So all three free throws made by Shea Illy who much more involved in the offense here in the second half. So much that he's got 15 points. I think he had a bucket at the break. Seven points. The difference. Gail Bonilla. Paco Cruz, he gets open. Oh, boy, he just doesn't miss. He is an elite-level player, folks, proving it once again. And that was a mistake by New Zealand, whatever kind of defense they're playing. You can't allow him to have any daylight. It's in the scramble after they go zone with the second defender at the rim. Shea Ooh. Illy this time prevented from getting to the basket. And here's Parco Cruz. And I don't, okay, so they had a foul to give, so that's a good one. So they're going to talk about it. They may review this. Was N Nartai going for the basketball? Usually when they huddle up, they will look at it. No. Nope. They talked about it, and definitely he was going for the ball, they think. If had they reviewed that, do you think they would have had the same conclusion? Yes, he was reaching across his body, but he was going for the ball, and there was no contact that impeded him from going forward. It wasn't like a hold or a grab. 6.3 seconds left in the third quarter. Bonilla gets in. Oh, he had the shot he wanted. But New Zealand at least have given themselves a fighting chance, but they have to figure out how to stop Paco Cruz. 78, 60, make a point. I don't know, that's how I would interpret that. It does kind of make you wonder if uh, everything is okay over there. Yeah, we don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Uh, Mexico has not, you know, played the way they wanted to play in the tournament, you know, so they've really responded in a great way today. They've got 10 minutes to go to finish this one. Fourth quarter underway here in New Zealand. Down 10. Tarangi, Leafa, Delaney, Illy, and Harris on the court. And that was almost a turnover. It looked like they reached in and it went off of Illy. Maybe they can challenge it. They should challenge it because they're going to win it.
Uh, Paul Stoll is right. And don't worry, Paul, you're going to get it back. But unfortunately for Mexico, they'll lose their challenge. But at least you know you're using it when you're going to get it. So the challenge is indeed successful. I would hope moving forward that when a team does have a challenge like that and they win it, they keep it. But I don't know if that rule will ever be changed, but that's just a personal opinion. That could be a positive improvement, for example. Because a team is frustrated when they feel like they have to use a challenge for something that should be pretty much straightforward called. Here is, oh, can you believe it? And then the ball goes right off the hands of Stolen out of bounds, getting ready to make his move. Now Stoll is going to chase it down. He's going to be warned. He's saying, <laughs> Perry Cameron's arguing he's already done it before. And uh, Paul Stoll knows better. He's done that before. Remember after the foul that was called the as, enforcement line? As much as he loves to pass, he loves to shoot. He's <laughs> getting those shots up. It's a habit. It's natural. But again, a delay of game warning. I don't know who would win a shooting contest between Stoll and Cruz. That would be a serious game of horse, or shall we say, a piece. Now, up ahead. And a foul on Mexico. They're going to wave it off. I think they've called Josh Ibarra in the post. They got the free arm on Illy. We're probably better yet, Caballo. I think Aquis is Latin. I'm not sure where that came from. Oh, I know what it was. Dos Aquis, or the, the Cerveza. The most interesting man in the world. <laughs> That would just find you, my friend. Oh, I don't know about that, but those were wonderful commercials. <laughs> Hiram Harris getting big minutes here. Shot clock down to eight. Leafa. Oh, got to watch the travel and a kick. So they're going to put 14 on the shot clock. <laughs> Yes, I think we would go with Caballo. I'm gonna, we're going to have to ask, do you guys play Caballo or do you play horse after the game? That's a great question. Or Thirdo. Leafa steps back. Jaime is back in the game. Bonilla back outside to Cruz. Ooh, and he is human, folks. Another rebound for Jaime. He's got double digits. Double double. Fabian Jaime. Fifteen points, eleven rebounds, in fact. Oh boy. And for the second time, Cruz misses a shot. And Mexico get the offensive rebound. Piron drives, knocked away, and now finally New Zealand get it. Now Bonilla takes it away from Tarangi. And then they scrap, and it goes in. What a sequence. And the foul on Delaney. And that could not have gone any better for Mexico. And it's all because of the hustle of Bonilla. 
Well, Bonilla tracked him down, created the turnover, gave it up, and then finished. But Jorge Gutierrez off the bench grabbed a rebound. Giron driving the activity of the Mexican team. And then it takes a, a trip around the rim and falls in. Mexico's activity today has put them in a position to win. When you're Omar Quintero, you love to see it. Jaime, that was his sixth assist. He's four assists away. I don't know if he's going to get it from a triple-double. That would certainly uh, raise eyebrows. And there's the drive and the foul. Wow. Tarangi. Oh boy, big miss. 11 points, the difference. Here's Cruz, fresh off a couple of misses. Let's see if he can find his range again. Jorge Gutierrez in the game, Heron back in. Jorge Gutierrez earns a trip to the line. Yet it's getting up slowly. When you think about who's been the player of the game, I mean, it's interesting. You just think automatically it's Paco Cruz. But Fabian James, is Jaime, Jaime's rather, has been terrific. Yeah, I think... He's actually got a double-double, whereas Paco Cruz does not. Yeah, Jaime's activity has been critical, but Cruz's scoring has helped carry the team and put them into that position. But it's not just a one-man show out here. No, it isn't. It never is. It never is. Jaimez <laughs> goes out. Put Israel Gutierrez back in. Crunch time. It's not yet winning time, but it's almost. Here's Leapa, bounce pass to Wetzel. Yanni Wetzel goes up and draws the foul, either from Hiron or Israel Gutierrez. So it's on Gutierrez, third personal. Four fouls on Jaimes. Four fouls on Josh Ibarra as well. He's on the bench. Both, both of them are on the bench. Here's Yanni Wetzel. He's been quiet offensively from a point standpoint. And uh, he's got six points now. And with that, Leofa gets an assist with the made free throw. Crucial free throws made. So back to a 10-point game. Gail Benilla, Benilla rather, excuse me, gets it down low and goes up and another big play from Gail Bonilla. Mexico's starting to look like a team that's not going to be denied today. Tarangi to the corner, Fendelani for three, good! And that gets it back to single digits. Six twenty remaining. Gutierrez, good to have in the game right now for Mexico from a ball handling standpoint and a deep a defensive standpoint. Without a doubt, Jorge brings so much to oh. his backcourt. Nartai with a foul on Jorge Gutierrez.
Shaley back in the game for Leafa. He's got the tough assignment. They switch. Parker Cruz up against Wetzel. Heron pump fake. Gets it deep, goes up. Wetzel the other way. Heron looking for a foul, doesn't get it. Nartai, feet set. Illy with the rebound, out to Fendelaney, and he hits his second three in a row. And now it's a six point game. Tired, having a tough day, no quitting in Tall Blacks. You know, Fight we knew best. this was going to be a, a tough game, an exciting game, a game with a lot of meaning, and so it is. Ben Delaney, just such an important player for all the reasons we talked about. Toughness, talent, leadership, clutch play. Look at him. Two big three-pointers in this game that he's just hit. And Mexico get a bucket here to ease the tension. And Shea Illy with his hands on Cruz. Remember, Ibarra has four fouls. And now four fouls on, oh no, it was on Yanni Wetzel. Stoll has to get rid of it. Ibarra powers his way in. Oh, it goes in and rims out. And holding has been called on Jordan Nartai. And Jordan Nart Nartai has to be careful. He doesn't argue and get a technical. And that's a great call. I mean, that's a great call. Those situations are so difficult. You have a player cutting to the basket. You got a defender working for a position. Noctai says Jaimes is holding him. Jaimes is saying Noctai is holding him. So. Well, Jaimes, I think Jaimes was right. I agree. I think this is a good call. And he makes both free throws to go to 18 points, 11 rebounds. They offer back in. Just under five minutes to go. Yanni Wetzel. And Yanni Wetzel with a little jump hook to get it back to a six point game. Stole for three! What a big shot. He's got that in his arsenal. Nine points, eight assists for Paul Stoll. Timeout.
Guards in the white, we've got to be in the body so Yanni doesn't have to get detached. Okay? Get up into the body. Yanni, you can give a little bit less if the guards are there. All right? We've got heavy nails too. Heavy nails. Here we are, shooters. Hey, down the other end, shakes wheel. All right, Finn, you're going to be on that side here on the on ball. All right, make sure. Sorry. All right, Finn, you're going to be on the weak side. Get out, slide, in a trade. Looking for that pass in the corner. Hey, boys, great job. Late in the clock. Six seconds to go. We've got a jam. Jam, force it back to all the base. Here we go. Go, go, go. Well, so much to be proud of today if you're Mexican fans because your team has gotten up off the canvas and put in a performance. Still got work to do, though, against New Zealand, who are fighting to the end. Down nine. Tarangi turns it over. And then Wetzel reaches in and commits the foul, and that is adios to Wetzel. So, Jeff, tarangi has been so good today. He turns the ball over. Wetzel fouls in transition. Fouling out. The interesting decision now for Perro is he's going back to the small lineup with five perimeter players, trying to spread them out and create three-point shooting opportunities. So Cruz gets the first to go. Well... You remember the last FIBA Olympic qualifying tournament, New Zealand did not go. They were going to go, but they did not. During COVID, difficult times, they had to take tough decisions. And uh, I know their fans are hoping that they'll be able to at least make it to the Olympic qualifying tournament this time. But it won't be on the strength of this performance if they don't win, but Shea Illy knocks down another three just to breathe a little bit more hope into the calls. Great job by Illy shooting behind the screen. Shea Illy with 18 points, eight assists, four rebounds. Tarangi guarding now Paco Cruz from the elbow. And Hiram Harris again. Still more than three minutes remaining. Eight point lead for Mexico. Here's Delaney, that's short. Ball goes out to Delaney, he's gonna put it up again. Goes in and out. And the foul on Hiram Harris. Just does, doesn't look like it's gonna be New Zealand's day and it's kind of almost what we anticipated before because they've, they've had the quick turnaround from last night. So the first shot, Illy from behind the screen and then on the next possession, they had two really good looks from three. The first was pick and pop. They're going to attack Ibarra in the screen and roll coverage with the pick and pop into spacing for the shooting. Oh, nice shot. Ibarra has really answered the call today. He's got 15 points, seven rebounds. Been a strong presence inside. makes both free throws so he's going to come out now as Mexico look for what more ball control yeah that well now you've got five perimeter defenders now they're going to switch pick and rolls and take away those three-point looks really good adjustment there from coach Omar Quintero the alpha gets in puts it up and the blocking foul on Hiron, is that five? Or no, that's four. Hiron has done a great job as a low man, giving up his body, trying to draw the charges. 
But you can see now with the perimeter defensive lineup from Mexico switching screens, it's now more about attacking closeouts. So New Zealand's got to maintain their spacing on these drives. Too much, too crowded in the paint that time. Layafa gets to the free throw line. And Leafa gets the first one to drop. And the second. Stole quickly. And he is fouled by Shea Illy. Great work by Paul Stoll to put the pressure. Beat pressure with pressure. Yeah, Stoll has done a great job picking his spots. It looks like Jorge Gutierrez is dealing with an ankle issue right now. Looks a little banged up. Jorge is really a tough, experienced player. They're coming out to wipe the floor. But now we've got small ball from both teams. This is about guarding the ball, spacing the floor. Attacking closeouts, working together for good shots. Two free throw makes here from Stoll. Return it to a 10 point advantage for Mexico. Big play by Paul Stoll. Heady play to get down the court and get to the line. Stoll now with 11 points, eight assists. Delaney from the right corner hits it. And they just simply will not go away. New Zealand down seven. New Zealand with a ghost. Ooh. Delaney now up to 19 points. Paul Stoll feeling it after that collision. One of the things you can do here as you see the contact there, clear foul from Leafa. Stole down hard on his hip. But that ghost screen action right there confuses the defense for a second. A penetrated kick to the corner. You can see Illy gets in the gap and makes the great pass. Delaney buries another three. Think about that foul. Second time in a row, putting a good free throw shooter on the free throw line. Yeah, and when you're Mexico, you look at your team, five players in double figure scoring. You've had a, a great team effort today. 25 assists. They've really worked together well out here in this important game. Nine point difference. Jay Illy spins, gets it. Tries to get it to Hiram Harris. Paco Cruz does a, look like a good job of reaching in and knock it away, but the foul is called, so the break for New Zealand. And again, small, small action. The ghost action allows Illy to get downhill into the paint. Didn't drop. And Jeff, you know, two minutes, 12 seconds to go. New Zealand just can't exchange buckets. They can't trade buckets. They fouled the last two possessions. They need to find a way to get some stops. One of two. They're back to an eight-point game. 
and when you're Mexico, you have your best ball handlers on the floor. You have to work a little better together there. Here you see the entrance, and Stoll got trapped. Great hustle by Hiron to try to get it. When you're off the ball in that play like Hiron, you've got to step and improve the passing angle for your teammates. Stay behind the ball. You know, for such veteran players, the coaching staff from Mexico will be like, hey, this is inexcusable as we're trying to close out this game. So great dive, but he didn't have to dive if he had done what he was supposed if to do he, in the first if place. He, if he steps to the ball, presents himself as a target, and gets open, yeah. then it's an easy pass. So these are the details and the winning yeah. plays you need to finish your game. Che Illy, Leapa from the corner. Or Leapa just... Oh, it's... oh, they might change it. They can't, they can't. They, have they called a technical foul? Wow, that's a brutal call. So, Jeff, they used their challenge earlier. They can't challenge this, yeah. and the bench reacted but wildly. They, but the referees can review it inside two minutes. So that they need to request that in a more normal way. Yeah, exactly. I mean. And again, Jeff, if this is on a player with four fouls. But I'm pretty sure they've called it technical. Although it hasn't registered yet. Okay, let's listen in. So, the camera on the best line. Yep. We can't see clearly. So, what about the camera? Do we have any other camera to see? Yeah. yeah. So, we saw the spin of the ball. Yeah, let's go with this. So, Daniel, what do you have? All right, change the, change the, the reason the, the ball. Change the reason. So, at Wait. this moment, yes. the green, green touched the ball, right? Yeah, the green player touched the ball. Yes. Green, green. Green, go, go, go. Green, go back, go back, go back. Hold. Green, the ball. Sorry, what, yeah. what do you have? What do you have? Yeah. It's very tough. We can't see. Yeah, this one is the best. From this angle, right here, green, green is ball. still touching the ball. Yeah. Yeah. Then after that, the white player doesn't touch the ball. So after the reviewing, the initial decision stands. The ball goes white yes. from the side out right here. So when the ball, ball touches the floor, the clock shows 1.59. So clock is OK. So 14 seconds. Side out, white ball. Yes, we have the same ball. Okay. Oh. So well, you... initial decision stands, white ball. Well, you heard it, and there just was not a camera angle that was definitive. That's why. I mean, they, they did a good job looking at it. But the other thing I'll say is they've called the technical, which is unfortunate for Mexico in this situation. But it you have to bear this in mind when you play when you when you play these games you have to have some control if you've been told but perhaps the basketball gods intervened and felt like it was a bit harsh on mexico to get a technical there i don't know well again this is about the emotions of trying to close a game and win a game 
and you've got to react with emotional discipline and that react under control. And this was from players on the bench. Lealfa just one of eight from three-point range today. So maybe not the player to shoot if Delaney misses. And a break for New Zealand. They get it back. Quick hands. Shea Illy steps back. And that was short. And now it's going to be an offensive foul. And now they have called a technical foul on Shea Illy for taking his mouthpiece out and throwing it off of the court. I have never seen that. But I, I suppose it's just a show of frustration that you have to be fair. You just called a technical on the one bench. I don't think he was trying to show up. No, he's mad at himself that he missed this great opportunity to hit a three. It was short. He's tired from last night. He's played great in these two games. And he just lost his, his composure right there. But you can see both teams reacting in these situations. This you, will be forever known as the mouthpiece technical. <laughs> there you go. He spiked it. But, you know, you talk about execution during winning time, but emotional discipline helps create that good execution. You know, we've seen reactions here impact both teams that hurt their chances to win the game. And we should be doing everything we can to help our chances to finish the game with a win. Yeah, it's unfortunate to see those technical fouls called, but at the end of the day, uh, the referees have to do what they do. I mean, that's, you know. They've done a good job here today managing the game. get that screen for a point guard going here, hit the five. All right, get the five. You got a back door and you got a dribble handoff with this guy here, all right? The four, when you come up, when the two gets here, you got the screen here. Stay with it. So we talk about teamwork from New Zealand or teamwork from Mexico, but I think we've seen really good teamwork from the officials as well out here today. They've worked through some reviews. They've managed through some technical fouls. You know, the one thing you see from New Zealand has been great effort to come back into this game. It just hasn't happened for them today. They've had plenty of opportunities, and it's in these small details where you see the fatigue become a factor from the short turnaround after the great effort in last night's Greece game. Yep, I agree. Still got a chance. They're definitely going to put up the threes. No, it's going to be the drive. And even those situations there, the stall called for the foul. Boy, that one uh, probably hurt. <laughs> oh, you can hear that one all the way over here. Guys are competing out here. That's You have so much respect for these teams, these, these players, these coaches. Roy Rana, the Egypt coach. He'll be uh, coaching next. I've really been impressed with Ruben Tarangi. He makes both. Well, still some work to do for Mexico. Now they trap stole, and oh, they come up and almost. Get a steal. Great work, great effort by Mexico. Gutierrez. Well, that's the type of teamwork you're looking for. Gutierrez, a veteran player, cut through the middle of the floor on what we call a shallow cut. 
the shallow cut allows the ball handler to see the cutter from the middle to the ball side sideline. And Stoll let him. Gutierrez, Jorge, with toughness, drew the foul. And Gutierrez makes both free throws. The 120 remaining. Tarangi for three. He went down, hoping a foul might be called. And it's back to a seven point game. The pressure in the backcourt. Gutierrez, and he gets it up to Geron, over to Jaimes. Oh, and Jaimes, rather than attacking, was going to do the smart thing by passing to Geron, but he made a very difficult pass that went out of bounds. This is why you need your ball handlers to have possession of the ball so that they make simple, strong plays and are not sped up by the scrambling defense. Here's Ilya again. Leafa in. Tarangi steps back for three. Good! Another! 101 97. Unbelievable. Wow, Jeff. Mexico turned the ball over on the inbound, but the officials have chosen to award the timeout here. Ruben Tarangi helping shoot New Zealand back into it. He's now got 29 points. You find the man with the hot hand. He has the hot hand. And suddenly, there's life for the Tall Blacks. The and, captain. And Jeff, last time out for Mexico. 52 seconds to play. New Zealand actually has one remaining. This defensive possession is critical right here. By the way, you saw the energy tracker. You see how many minutes Paco Cruz has played. He's only been on the bench for less than six minutes. Unbelievable. And Tarangi has also played a lot of minutes. These guys are tired trying to gut it out. Now the pass over to Heron. So New Zealand do not want to foul, and they absolutely have to get a stop and a rebound. Paco Cruz, oh, it had to be! Paco Cruz strikes again. Is that the knockout punch? Really good work there from Mexico. They ran the ghost out of the corner with Gutierrez. They drew the switch. In five seconds, it can be done again. Apply yourself, execute here. Get another steal, chip away. Don't give up right here. Arf, arf, no, no, no. Hey, 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 South Nelson. All right, take the ball out here. We got our two and our three, four weak side five here at the circle there. All right, get in, get in, look, get the four up there. When we come up and up screen, get the catch. When you're coming off the four, Try and take out your man and the two here so we get a pop shot, all right? Take him out, easy. Which the pass is coming from me. So you see Gutierrez step up from the corner. They draw the switch. Delaney gets stuck one-on-one. -on -one. Cruz backs him down beneath the level of the three-point line right into his shooting range and hits the big shot. It's just a tough one to stop. 
Yeah, I mean, you got to respect this drive. Yeah. And you don't want to get too close and foul him. Paco Cruz today, 27, well above his average, six of nine from deep. But folks, we are not surprised at all from Pa KO's contributions today. He has this type of reputation. Smith Milner in the game. Tarangi for three. Good! They refuse to go away! And Jeff, that's a fantastic end line, sideline inbound play from Perro Cameron. Really well executed. And boy, Jaime's, I don't know, was he coming close to a technical foul? Because he interfered with the basketball going through the hoop? That was uh, dancing with danger. Stoll has it. They got him trapped. Can he get out of it? He does get it to Jorge Gutierrez. He gets it up to Herod. He lays it up and in. Mexico closing in on victory. New Zealand have to go quick. And he only skims the net. And it's going to be Mexico ball. And the 12 Warriors are going to get it done. Most likely. Still 8.1 seconds. I guess stranger things have happened, but it certainly looks like this is going to be the day for Mexico. Great poise from Jorge, Jorge, Jorge Gutierrez. And they add two more. Heron gets another bucket. And that is going to be it. Heartbreak for New Zealand. They gave everything for the second consecutive game. And Mexico, meanwhile, have gotten up off the canvas, really, and won a fight 108 to 100. And really, that score was a lot closer, or the, the score perhaps flatters Mexico a little bit the way the New Zealand battled at the end. What a great game. What a great effort. Great response from Mexico here today. And then despite the, or facing the challenges of the short turnaround, quick turnaround, you have to respect the effort New Zealand.